Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Killsteam. I am back with another Call of Duty World War 2 video for you guys today. And in today's video, we have some pretty awesome stuff to talk about for multiplayer and zombies. And it's a couple of informational stuff I'm going to be going over. Some of it is bad news and most of it is good news and pretty awesome stuff we're going to go over in today's video. Now, this was from the past, but I am going to go over this. Some of this stuff is new, some of this stuff is old, but I just wanted to make this video so people understand the most important stuff that is coming into Call of Duty World War 2. So, let's go ahead and start it out with the bad information because Bad information has not been talked a lot about in Call of Duty World War 2. The only bad stuff that we got was Call of Duty World War 2 has like no Nazi logos in like multiplayer and also there's like woman black soldiers that are Nazis and that's not really bad though that's just a little bit like an eh kind of in the game but that's not really game breaking okay so the first piece of bad news is kind of bit of an older piece of news but i just wanted to go over it for you guys so there is no unlimited sprint in call of duty world war 2 multiplayer there is no unlimited sprint like we had it in advanced warfare black ops 3 i believe um infinite warfare i don't believe modern warfare remastered but we had a limited sprint for um a long time for the past couple of years and now it's finally going to go away back to the old style of Call of Duty. Now, some people that joined recently in the Call of Duty franchise aren't too happy about this, but for me, honestly, I don't really care because I think it makes the game a little bit smoother, but for most people out there, there's gonna, they're gonna say it's bad news, it's bad information, so I just wanted to put that in this category. And also, there is no theater mode inside of World War II multiplayer because Michael Condry did say that the PS4 share button is fully functional of recording and capturing and uploading great content from the PS4 so he's just saying that like no more theater no theater mode in Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer and the PS4 share button is really good at capturing and uploading stuff and that's actually kind of a good thing as well but I don't know because people out there like literally rely on theater mode to get their like gameplays and montages all that stuff they rely on that to just to get it up to YouTube and now there is no theater mode returning to Call of Duty World War 2 so I mean, there is a PS4 share, but I mean, I think it's a really good feature they added on PS4. I believe it's something on Xbox One as well, because, like, and also, this is kind of a good thing as well. Now, don't get mad at me, but this is a good thing, because it made the loading screens a lot longer in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, because they had to get, like, the theater mode started up. They had to record the games. Now, it's going to be much better. The games are going to load up much faster. The game's going to be more smoother, and all that inf good stuff, because... I don't know, I think it's just a little bit better that theater mode isn't in there. Like, I don't really care, honestly, but I know it's a big part in most of everybody who play Call of Duty, so now it's not here anymore, so I don't know. But also, it gives devs other times to, like, other time to make um, better content for, like, DLCs and all that stuff, making the game better, and not just putting and working on theater mode all the time. So that's kind of a good factor as well, but I know most people out there will get mad at me for saying that. Okay, so now let's get into the good news. We're gonna start off with multiplayer. Now, I did elaborate on this a tiny bit on my previous video. I just said that Call of Duty World War II multiplayer is going to be running on 60 hertz instead of like Call of Duty is now running on 20 hertz. I, be I believe Modern Warfare Remaster was running on like 10 or 15 hertz, but then they updated it to run on 20 hertz. So I believe most of the recent Call of Duties and like all the Call of Duties run on like 25 hertz or less or something like that. And now Call of Duty World War II multiplayer is going to be running on 60 hertz. And what this all this hertz stuff does it just makes the game more smoother it makes um like when you get a stupid kill in call of duty like when you die by a stupid reason you're gonna get much less of those now that call of duty world war 2 multiplayer is going to be running on 60 hertz because it makes the game have less lag less stupid times when you get killed by stupid reasons and it just makes the game a lot smoother it makes hit detection a lot better when you shoot somebody and your bullets register and it just makes the game a lot smoother so now we're not going to be running on 20 hertz and anymore we're going to be running on 60 hertz that is like three times better 
than what you're doing right now and it is absolutely going to be really really good also for multiplayer we have very good news um, and Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer is going to have dogs it is confirmed because somebody asked Michael Condry or they just said he won't answer any kill streak related questions and I don't know why and he said lots of score streaks in the beta also I like dogs so that's just saying that it's confirmed that Call of Duty World War 2 is going to have dogs like how can it not have dogs like Call of Duty World at War it had dogs and like every World War 2 game has to have dogs so there's definitely going to be dogs in call of duty world war 2 multiplayer and this tweet by michael condry just confirmed it as well i believe there was only like 12 kill streaks i mean score streaks at the um e3 beta e3 build of call of duty world war 2 so now there's gonna be he said there's gonna be lots of score streaks i believe there's gonna be like i believe three or more score streaks added into World War II multiplayer and dogs is confirmed it's going to be one of them and I th cannot wait to have dogs back again because I just missed the Black Ops 2 dogs, the Black Ops 1 dogs and I'm getting tired of all these like futuristic shit to be honest like freaking raps roaming around like raps are OP as hell they're fun to use but just seeing dogs running around it's just it's just I don't know it has a certain feeling and it's just really really good. Also there is no last stand in Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer I don't know why people are asking um, if there's gonna be last stand, is there gonna be last stand here? I believe people asked it even for like Modern Warfare Remastered, like they didn't know. But um, yeah, so there's no last stand again, and we haven't had last stand for like a long time now, a good five or six years, I think, since Black Ops 1, I think, maybe, or Modern Warfare 3. I don't know, I can't remember. But it's been a long time since we got Last Stand, and it does not look like it's going to be returning anytime soon. And it's been confirmed it's not returning to World War II multiplayer. Okay, so let's get into zombies information. Before I do that, Infinite Warfare gameplay has been in the background for a little bit now. I just wanted to say don't hit the dislike button or anything like that. Because this is some good solid gameplay of the remake from Modern Warfare 3 Resistance. And it's called Ember. And I had a blast playing this last night. So I had to record it. Went on a really good kill streak. And yeah, so now let's talk about some zombies for Call of Duty World War 2. And... Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies is going to be on a really, really good scale for the gore level. So somebody asked Glenn Schofield, on a scale of 1 to 10, how gory is a zombies mode? He replied by saying 11. So it looks like this year, we're going to have beyond gory. Like, I know in Treyarch, you can knock, like, arms off and shit. But I think this year, it's going to be, like, I believe it's going to be crazy. It's going to be nothing we've, like, ever seen before. And it's going to be crazy. And then somebody asked Glenn Schofield, um, saying, will it be good? Replying to, like, is it going to be good? Is Call of Duty World War II Zombies going to be good? And then Glenn Schofield replied by saying, did you like the original Dead Space? But for me, I have never played the re original Dead Space. I just know Dead Space is a, like a weird, freaky, insane horror game. And it's a really good game. I should try it, people say. But... I don't know, I'm not going to probably get into it now, but like as he said, it's going to be really like the original Dead Space, so if you like the original Dead Space, there you go, you're going to love Call of Duty World War II Zombies, but I feel like I'm going to love it no matter what. I don't know why, but it feels like we're going to have a really good year with zombies. Okay, so somebody said, how much is Zombies like to the original Dead Space, and he said, Zombies is its own thing, but with a similar sick twisted vibe, the world is definitely in its own dark place very dark but fun as hell though because um oh my god he's just he just keeps saying it's so twisted it's so sick it's so dark and everything like that and it makes it sound really like creepy so this is gonna be different from what we have seen with infinite warfare of course because that's really childish and i feel like it's gonna be much different from trick as well it's gonna be much more gorier from trick much more scarier and horror type of theme from Treyarch Zombies, and it's gonna be fun as hell because Glenn Schofield he said it himself. Because man, it looks like it's gonna have be really, really, really twisted this year with zombies, and I think I'm gonna like it for some reason. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Okay, so we are on to one of our last type of things. So, Glenn Schofield said July 20th, just saying, and he actually posted an image, I believe it's some sort of teaser image, and he posted this below the tweet now I don't have the tweet for you guys but here is the teaser image and this image is pretty freaking disturbing and it's some kind of like 
I don't know. It, it looks like it's like a brain, but um, people have said, is it a brain or a spine? And he said, you're getting close. So it's not a brain or a spine, but it's something inside of a body. And it's a metal tubular, tubular thing inside of this brain looking structure. And it's blood around everywhere. And it looks... It's just disturbing. We can see some metal things on the left hand corner of the top and the right hand corner of the top. So I'm not sure if that's like holding it out in place so you can like put that tube inside of this um, body part or something. I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty freaking nasty. And it looks like this is just the beginning of what we're going to be seeing for Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies, guys. So there you go. I'm going to leave it off on a disgusting note. But yeah, pretty cool stuff, guys. And hit the like button, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. I just wanted to put an informational video out there explaining some bad news from multiplayer, the most important stuff, bad news from multiplayer, the most good stuff for multiplayer, and also the most good stuff for zombies. And yeah, so July 20th is the official worldwide wide reveal of Call of Duty World War II Zombies. We're going to get a trailer probably. We're going to get a lot of cool stuff and pretty amazing stuff, guys. So hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video, and peace out, everybody.